Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. This beautiful project here was one that I made, and I'll put it that way, you might be able to see most of it that way. Um, one that I made at the Pinkies team retreat um, last weekend. And this was designed by Stacey Marsh, and I will put a link to Stacey's blog about this project um, in the description bar below. Um, what I loved about this, and, and Stacey actually did a, a different version, which you'll see on her blog, with um, different shapes of die cuts and also dis different sentiments. Um, but the thing I really loved about it was the use of these subtle colours against um, the Sahara sand cardstock there and also using um, white ink to splash those and I actually added a little bit of shimmer to mine as well. So um, really, really enjoyed making this project. Thank you to Stacey for it the inspiration but I thought I would actually um, make a card using some of the techniques from this. I haven't made a prototype so we'll, we'll just make it up as we go along um, but I wanted to show you the Trimming the Town designer series paper. Now I've used this sheet of paper and um, used the dies to cut out the houses and the trees um, that's the coordinating dies for that suite. Um, they go the, with the stamp set. You can stamp them, colour them and cut them or you can use the dies to cut out that. What I hadn't done until Stacey's project was use this sheet. Now there are no dies to um, cut out these little houses but they're pretty easy to fussy cut with your paper snips because it's pretty much straight lines. So even although I'm not great at fussy cutting um, and I don't find it fun, um, it, it was absolutely fine to do. So these pieces here were die cut um, from the larger design and these ones here are fussy cut. So I'm going to do a little bit more using these ones because I fussy cut some extra ones as well. So what I have done is made a background piece and this is a mint macaron card and I've speckled that with white and I've also, so if you can see that, added some um, frost white shimmer paint onto that as well. So I'm going to show you how I did that, but I've made this one um, ready for my card. So I'm just going to bring in a scrap piece of mint macaron. That's mint macaron. No, that'll be pool party. Um, doesn't matter. It's it's the effect that I want to, to show you. So I've got an acrylic block. I've also got a Whisper White Pigment Ink Refill. And I'm just going to put a little bit, a couple of drops. It's quite thick, this, on there. And I'm going to thin that out with some water. So I've got a little bit of water in this spritzer. A couple of squirts of that. Mix it with my, it's just an old paintbrush. And simply going to splash it onto my card. I may well make tags out of this. Um, 
once it's dry but I just wanted to show you how we got that effect nice and easy not too messy let me just put that to the side before I put anything in it as I say I also added some of the frost white shimmer paint um, I simply added a couple of drops of that in to another one of my spritzers and in that I have added some surgical spirits or rubbing alcohol. Give it a good shake <laughs> and give it a spray. You don't I don't really want it to be thick like that. I want it to be quite thin, so I'm doing it from quite far away. So most of it will actually land on my grid mat. And I would normally wait until the white had actually um, dried before I did that. So as you can see on that one, I've got a more even spray just by doing it from further away. It's kind of difficult when I'm I'm trying to do it within this area here and not get everything on my desk covered in shimmery paint which is not a bad thing because shimmery paint is really pretty um so yeah that that's the technique behind it so i've got myself a card base I've cut another piece of Sahara sand and the measurements for um, these pieces will all be on my blog. There'll be a link to that blog in the description bar below as well as a link to Stacey's blog. And I'm just going to layer that up so that it is similar to the banner in that respect. We've got some white, we've got some Sahara sand and mint macaron. I've also once again used the Tasteful Labels dies and cut one from Whisper White card. And I've got a collection of little houses that I need to decide how I'm going to arrange them on this piece here. I will be adding some with glue and some with dimensionals. I've got a little bit of mini dimensionals there. So, previously I probably, before I looked at Stacey's um, project, I probably would have worried about, um, you know, the, the fact that that tree is obviously way out of proportion it might be a huge tree um that it's so much wider than the house and that house is tiny in comparison to the other houses um but it it it's not realistic nobody ever said it needs to be realistic but that's the sort of thing that i probably would have thought before um doing stacy's project so yeah, I think I can probably fit them all on there actually and that would be a nice little cluster on there. So let me add, um, I'll add this big one with some glue straight down. Tell me it's run out. I don't have another one on my desk at the minute so bear with me and I'll come back okay so I got myself a brand new one straight out of the packet and I've added some to the back of our first little house I'll put that one up there I'm going to add one of the trees to the background flat as well In fact, I think I might overlap that a little. It doesn't have to be within the confines. I can't remember which way round I did these. I think I did that one up there. Let 
me start adding some dimension. dimensional down there cover up that excess glue that I left lying when I decided to move my tree can't bring that and I pop this one on with a mini rather. Put that one there and I can put that one down there. Maybe a bit big but never mind. Speckled piece, add that to the Sahara sand. It's not a colour I really use very much for no particular reason. It's wild with a dimension and add even more add that there now I want to add a sentiment and I have decided to use the banner year stamp set I'm going to stamp Christmas wishes at the top and I've already gone ahead and done from all of us um, because I wasn't sure how white heat embossing would look on that Sahara sand card because as I say it's not a colour that I tend to use very often um, so I've already done that one but I will stamp I'm just using my embossing buddy Don't get rogue embossing powder. Although, to be honest, it would probably fit in with the, the white speckles on the background. It wouldn't look too out of place. I could pretend I meant it. Christmas wishes. Add my white. Stamping embossed powder. Pop that back in. Yep, happy with that. And I'll just heat set this. doesn't matter how often I do um, heat embossing, it still fascinates me that it changes from that dull powder to that gorgeous glossy look. It's fabulous. So I'm going to cut that with 
another one of the tasteful text tasteful labels rather so let me just pop that through my cup and emboss machine straight um, probably would have been better if I'd brought it in front of me instead of just having it to the side but hey ho so we've got plenty of dimension on that so I think I'll just stick both of these flat down to put that in the middle. In between those two sentiments, like that. Now the other thing that I added to the banner was some of these frosted and clear epoxy droplets and we're going to use the frosted ones because they do kind of look a bit well frosty and fit in very well with the theme of our snow couple there and one there so i think that's quite a fitting tribute to Stacey's banner and, and complements that pretty well. I hope you agree and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really love it if you clicked on that button too. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, take care. Bye bye.